All right, so hello everyone. This is the second time that I'm recording this, but the interesting thing is actually before the first recording, I was sitting here waiting for my guest interview and I was thinking that since that was on my calendar for today, I was thinking that I am um, a one guest in a, a one podcast. Uh, prepared for that meeting and then sitting here realized that actually nobody's coming and that I'm not the guest today, I'm guest like next month. So doesn't matter, I said like, yeah, <laughs> this is so funny. Um, yeah, let's record a um, episode for my YouTube channel. And then after 30 minutes of my recording, I realized that actually for some reason, uh, my laptop is not recording the sound. So I realized, okay, yeah, just stop it. Uh, let's take a break. Let's eat something and then decide if you want to record a new episode or not. So, and I was thinking, how is this possible? How is this possible that actually I'm not frustrated by these kinds of situations, that I'm not stressed and I still want to record another episode? Doesn't matter, like, even like maybe there is a possibility that this episode will not have uh, a sound, but doesn't matter. So actually that is my story because if you know me a few years ago I was so stressed, I was so frustrated, I was feeling kind of guilty but I was also feeling as a why all these negative things are happening to me Uh, and from that person to this person like hey let's take the benefit of it. So I really want to in in very uh, summary uh, told you about how one SEO manager becomes coach for SEO professionals. And that is my actual story. That is my transformation. Um, Originally, I am from Bosnia and Herzegovina and I came to Dublin to enroll my second master in digital marketing because I was feeling that having just one more one master in marketing is not good enough. I need to uh, get another one to uh, feel worthy. And I came to Dublin, I enrolled my master. And here, I think the biggest challenge and the biggest story started because I was feeling so bad every day. Uh, As you can imagine and and as you can see, uh, I'm not native English speaker. So coming to to country where the actually only uh, language is English uh, has been a huge challenge for me because uh, that is something that I couldn't learn so easily. Then uh, during my master, I didn't feel that I'm good enough for taking and applying for real jobs. So I was serving firstly, and then I was trying to find some internships in the marketing because I was thinking nobody is going to hire a non-native English speaker for their companies. And especially I'm from Bosnia, like third country and everything. So uh, I started to do here an intern as an intern. Uh, I finished my college, I finished my master first year, actually that is a full year, and then I was starting to feel again that I'm not good enough, who is going to hire again Bosnian people, again a non-native English speaker, and when I got another SEO job as a SEO consultant, I was thinking, oh, there is a mistake, Uh, I'm going to be fired, they will uh, realize how how much I don't know, even I got the entry uh, position. And then after one year of working as a SEO consultant, I was sitting here, I was sweating every day for eight hours, I was feeling like imposter, I was feeling that I don't have a confidence to work my job. SEO is crazy. Every day you need to learn more. I was working so much on technical things. I was, I really wanted to become SEO expert, like in technical things. And every day I was learning so much, but every day uh, I was lacking uh, confidence even more. So every day I was uh, so stressed by the client's call. I had anxiety on like all these meetings and you know, I'm from Bosnia. So anxiety is not 
is not one of the things we are having there because we have plenty of other issues. And I didn't even know that this is anxiety and I felt that my heart is very warm and like it's burning. And after one year I was promoted and but nothing happened to me. Nothing uh, differently that I was actually feeling better. Uh, even after a second promotion to SEO manager, I was feeling that uh, this is some kind of mistake. And after like all these months, I realized that like mental health is so disaster. Like every day I'm working in stress for eight hours. Uh, everything like is challenging for me and I'm not enjoying in the process I'm not enjoying my job I'm not enjo enjoying even like if m in my personal life and it's not about my company and it's not about my friends families and people around me because I realized that actually I have the same pattern as I had before my master I was feeling that I'm not good enough I was feeling that I'm not worthy that I need to learn more that I need to work more uh, that everybody else is trying to make the stress not me even uh, my company was great my managers were great but still uh, something was wrong with me so after the biggest burnout that I have ever felt in my life I decided that I definitely there is something that I need to change and during my vacation I was uh, I was reading the book from Edgar Tall the power of now when I read there is a possibility to control your brain and I said like no this is not this is not possible because like nobody told me this before and I can't control my brain and my thoughts and my feelings like I was in that moment like everybody is actually doing these things to me and I can't do anything so that is something how I started uh, I started to do a lot of mindset coaching sessions I was reading a bunch of the mindset books courses different uh, YouTube channels I was following and like I was learning how to improve your mindset so today I'm having a work day without stress without uh, any kind of negative feelings and just for note the I'm working for the same company all these years I have learned how to create dream job and life and how to have that fulfillment every day. That doesn't mean that stressful situations are not happening to me. Now I just know how to handle them. So I'm not overworking, I'm not overwhelmed, I'm not stressed. So this is something that I'm teaching other SEO professionals how to handle and how to manage their stress, how to create their dream jobs and uh, life so they can fully enjoy in their uh, working as your positions and uh, personal lives they have so if you want to learn more fulfill the form in the box and let's see if the coaching program is a good fit for you at this time